Epic Games has included sample game projects with Unreal Engine 4. Sample projects are crucial for learning game design concepts and new techniques. For example, you can download a sample and by reverse engineering it, you can learn new techniques that can be used to create your game. You can even reuse some of the sample content to help you build your game. For example, downloading a first person shooter example game can help you create a first person shooter game and so on. So to use a sample game, Simply select the sample game from the Unreal Project browser window and then click on Open. As you can see, we have ourselves a sample scene and it's got some information that you can see in the environment itself. It says, Welcome to the UE4 example content. Click on File, then go to Open Level to open one of the many example maps. And this map that we're looking at here should be the basic default map that you'll see when you uh, first open up this example project. So the cool thing is that we have all these different example Unreal maps that we can check out. So let's go up to File, let's go to Open Level, shortcut is Control O, and then you can see here we have quite a long list of tons and tons of example maps. So let's go to the first map, the one called Animation. Let's just double click that and load it up. And you can see we have this example scene. It's just there's sort of a long corridor with a bunch of uh, copies of a character. If we go to the first one, 1.1, we can see some information. So it says animation using animation asset. Then it says simulate or play. So right now nothing is happening. We just have a character kind of standing there, um, not moving or anything, just kind of frozen in place. So in order to get him to do something, we have to either simulate or play the scene. So if we go up to the simulate button, we can go ahead and click on that. You could also hit play, but I'll use simulate in this case. Just go ahead and click on that. And now you can see that our character starts to actually move. So he's doing some jumping jacks, getting, getting his heart rate going there. And he's just going to go ahead and loop through an animation over and over again. So basically the scene has these characters with these different animations and you can uh, go ahead and hit stop to go ahead and end that animation. If I click on the character and select them, you'll see all the properties pop up in the details panel. Then I can get all kinds of information. So I could see the skeletal mesh. I could even check out the materials. So if I want to get familiar with whatever material, say for example, I like the material on the coat and I want to check and see what kind of material the coat has, I can go ahead and check that out and start to play around with this, reverse engineer it, inspect it, see how the, the guys at Epic put this stuff together. And by checking that stuff out, you can slowly and steadily start to figure out how different things are made, how the character is animated, um, what controls the behavior of a character, how certain materials created, why it looks the way it looks. You can check out the material in the material editor, things like that. So reverse engineering games is extremely important. So if we go to the marketplace, we can see that there's a ton more examples. And this is pretty important because there's only one example that is included with Unreal 4 but if you go to the marketplace we can see that we have tons of examples that show different things for example the reflection subway is great for learning how to work with materials and real-time reflections and all that cool stuff there's also a really cool shooter game example which is pretty neat because these kinds of games are really popular right now in things like Steam PC Xbox PlayStation so if I click on it and go to the shooter game by Epic Games this one happens to be free it's a shooter game example that shows off the basic framework for constructing or constructing your own first person shooter style experience with C++. So this is a pretty cool example to get because it shows you an example of weapons, um, first person view assets, and just different types of gameplay elements that could be super useful for um, checking to see how to create a first person shooter game. So I'll click on download. Again, this is a free download, so just download it. It's a pretty big file. In this case, it says it's three gigabytes. So it's going to take a little few minutes here to download. So the idea is just to download these examples, then open them up with the project browser window and check them out. See what you can learn from them.